Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Delta Force Task Force Dagger as we continue with the quick missions. So, okay, so it looks like we got the same uh, bug of sorts from uh, Land Warrior, where uh, if you finish a mission but you save and then reload from that save, it only counts from that save. So that's a little unfortunate because we should have like uh, 20 or 30 kills, but. It is what it is, so let us go into the quick missions, and today we will be doing Operation Bear, ETG-1909050 Zulu. Mission data, raid and destroy surface-to-air missile site, infiltrate by helicopter, locate SAM site, eliminate enemy resistance, including tunnels, avoid civilian casualties, demolish missile launcher. So it looks like there's going to be three SAMs, they have the control center for the SAMs there. And then a uh, little motor pool there. So let's see what we got here. Predator Sigint indicates an operational SAM site is defending Kandahar Airfield. Company sized element mans the SAM battery. Enemy vehicles patrol the site frequently from service roads extending 300 meters beyond the launchers. Cobra 33 will helicopter insert near the site, locate and demolish all three SAM launchers, and move to Rally Point for extraction. So, uh,. Hmm. I see the reasoning for the loadout. Just debating. I think they're going to give us a refill anyways, because, I mean, I think you only get two slam charges. Um, so, I feel like we can safely take the same loadout, and while uh, the grenade should be effective against technicals at the very least, and this will be useful for clearing the tunnels, so... I think we're just going to keep our load out and uh, jump right in. Viper, you would locate destroy any remaining SAM launchers. Avoid civilian casualties. Consolidate at rally point for Xville. Dagger out. Okay, so that's the uh, <laughs> right up there. Uh, okay, thank you. <laughs> Looked like he was, uh, gonna take off without me, or rather with me, but, uh, okay, we got some hostiles here. Let's go and take this guy out to the south. But yeah, we got, uh, played my ass. I mean, okay, so we got that guy. Oh, yeah, okay, so they have, uh, those are, uh, probably Buck missile systems, if I had, uh, well, maybe not. Maybe. I want to say they're Buck missile systems, because they keep the, uh, they typically have the Oh, fuck. Well. I suppose. <laughs> weapons updated. Why are my weapons updated? Well, they'll have heard that, but... Honestly, I... Oh, hello. Back here. Uh... There we go. 
And it looks like he's got a buddy higher up on the hill. Can't quite see him. I suspect that might be him, but... Oh, there he is. Aw. Oh, you little fucker. How oh, dare you take cover. Nope, didn't get him. This guy's pretty good. He knows when to uh, take cover. Oh, he's on the move. Ah, damn him. Got him. God, he ran a lot. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay. Okay, he's still just floating in the air. I'll see of him considering the Sam site's nearby, but then again, he is kind of below the mountain, as it were. So. He should be fine. Try to get by some of these trees. Yeah, we're definitely starting to see more of their garrison. They didn't they say a company-sized element? I mean, that's like a hundred to hundred fifty people. So, all right. Three, although it definitely kind of gives the impression that someone. That I keep hearing jets fly over. Do we actually? Okay, we don't actually have uh, any fire missions from uh, aircraft. Oh, okay, I guess that building is just a uh, nothing building then. But yeah, they several times they aerated no civilian casualty, so hopefully they aren't using human shields. Alright, well fuck you. Oh, there's a guy way off here. Let's take him out. He's probably another vehicle patrol. Or maybe they are on foot. This area. Oh. Yep, they're on foot. Okay. And... There we go. Three more hostiles eliminated. Make that four. And now let's head towards the hill to get some cover. The UAV should be right above us, probably flying at at least 20,000 feet, I'd imagine. But maybe that's what we keep hearing is the UAV flying by. But. but they're supposed to be quiet, so I kind of doubt that. 
yeah. It's just a constant, like, every 15 or 20 Okay, I guess we can't go up that hill. Here we go. This should be... Now there are... Hell is that supposed to be? It's doesn't seem to be a person. Of course, now I've given away my position. Well, that's a little annoying. Okay, there are. Oh, hey, we actually have a. Restriction on how high we can aim when we're prone. So prone isn't always going to be the go-to choice for times where we'll probably just want to crouch. Okay, I think that was a shrubbery. Some sort of shrub that had my attention. No. No, we can't Olympic man climb anymore. No. Oh, God. The train just ejected us there. Yep, okay, so... We unfortunately have to do this the hard way. So we do have a few more... That was the nice thing about Land Warrior, is it was more like Delta Force 1 style in that you could just climb frickin' anything. But it looks like they brought back some of the restrictions with, uh... That they have with Delta Force 2, which is fine. Makes things a little more realistic, I suppose. I mean, it's not like you couldn't climb that, but uh, <laughs> you'd certainly be going very slow and probably want climbing equipment. Oh yes, we have some very rugged terrain indeed. I'm a little nervous actually. This is uh, at least they don't have the shitty fall damage from two making a return. So I think that's probably why in Land Warrior they kind of uh, went back to basically uh, making you able to climb everything, and then they. Uh, Fucker. Oh. And then, uh... Once they kinda got things figured out, I think then they brought back... Cause we didn't take any fall damage from our little... Climbing escapades there, which was nice, so... I don't think yeah, they aren't below us but they are up there oh, looks like we got some uh, graphical glitching there I like how that just all turned towards me. Oops, uh... Me to the north. Yeah. Well, wait, no. I killed all the ones to the north, I think. But yeah, there is an armory there, so we should be good. But now we're at the part of the mission where we slowly kill people. And actually, I do want to... Just because they're all low. Target demolished. 
I like how they, uh... They all turn towards... That explosion. Oh! Shit, I thought you were a tree. Oh, good thing, uh, he didn't see me. Okay, uh... Base right there. That makes me a little worried. Oh, uh... There we go. There. Ow. That'll disrupt them a bit. I don't know what you was hoping. Hello. Oh fuck. I'm in semi auto mode. Okay. That's another objective. So let's go and clear out the tunnels. Because there's definitely. I hear them below us. Uh, the game isn't. Doesn't have the audio fidelity to make it sound like they're below us, but I just hear it on a level area, but... Fuck. Eh, that didn't go so well. Uh... Fuck! There we go. There we go. <laughs> That's a little more like it. Alright. Do a make swap here. Hopefully that armory is uh, right over here. Yes. We are fully loaded. Cool. Uh... I suppose we could use their tunnel network against them. Definitely uh, a lot more professional than the uh, tunnels that the terrorists were using in Land Warrior. Are these guys... Okay, so these guys are above us. Okay, so there's that. Must be in the tunnels. Oh, fuck. Fucking hurt. All right, so there's another Sam site down. Actually, there's another satellite dish, so we can uh, take that out. I don't know if those are supposed to represent like uh, radar. Probably they probably wouldn't be radar. Those are definitely comm dishes. But um, So, 
going to be on the left here. Let's head back to that armory. And, uh... I'm kind of curious. I don't know if taking the Kevlar just does an increase to your hit points. Or if it's, like, an actual item with durability. I'm kind of curious, because if it's an item with durability, then in theory, when we re-request items, um... They, uh... It should repair itself, I would think. But if it's just a selection that it's like, okay, you get, uh, you know, double hit points this mission or something, then, um, obviously I don't think it would do much for us there, but... It would be interesting if it actually did bad hit points. Uh. Enemy clear. Really? Are they all surrendering now? I kind of doubt that, but... I thought someone was hiding behind there. AK-47. So yeah, they got a lot of munitions here. Oop. Fuck your shit. Oh, he surrendered. He was getting up. Yeah, it's, he's... Fucking stay there. Alright, so we will go... To our... Exfil point. Which is not... Oh, we don't have an exfil point? That's interesting. But yeah, I reserve the right to shoot them. If they move. Uh, we didn't clear out the center, so I kind of want to go back there uh, just to look around at the place. So I think there definitely would have been a uh... like we killed everyone here. And yeah, we have another tunnel entrance here, which is all these entrances are hardened too. But, um, I don't know where the exfil point's supposed to be. It looks like they didn't bother, uh, flushing these buildings out so much. Hi. Oh, too close. There we go. Wow, I think our grenades have a lot more punch. But, uh, yeah, I'm really glad we shot the gunners off of those guys. Uh, I don't know where our exfil... Are we just supposed to go back to, uh, our in infiltration point? God damn, that's half a kilometer away. But, no, this is... I like this mission. This mission was kind of fun. Using helicopter flying nap of Earth, uh get to a dam site and destroy it. Um, I don't know. The thing that makes me curious, though, is we didn't really see a radar just directing these. Like, it's... You can have your launchers hidden like that, where they don't necessarily have great line of sight. But the weakness of the system is you still need a radar. 
And typically, if this follows a typical system, is each of those units would have a limited ability to engage on their own. Because they will have their own radars and stuff, but typically a system like this, you distribute like three of those uh, launcher erectors, or just launchers I guess in this case. Excuse me, around. And then you have a central vehicle, or rather, you can have a central vehicle that does all the radar and command and stuff. But in other cases, you would have a separate radar vehicle or vehicles to kind of like spot for your missiles and a, com a hidden command vehicle to kind of, uh, um, you know, control everything. And so I, I expected more than what we got. Yeah, it looks like our helicopter is just still, uh, sounds like he's still here. Okay. There we go. So, um, yeah, that about finishes this mission. We made it back to our infiltration point, so let us end the mission here. And no debriefing as per the usual, but uh, that about wraps it up for today, I think. So with that, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for next time, and stay safe out there, and we'll see you then.